Hey guys, Smelling Roses here. I'm still out in the Big South Fork area in Scott County, East Tennessee. We're currently hiking this highway bridge here to cross the Big South Fork of the Cumberland River. And on this rainy day, we're gonna do a little bushwhacking adventure and we're gonna attempt to reach Bandy Creek Falls. So come along, let's go check it out. You can see here the river from the middle of the bridge. Just out of camera view there is the confluence of Bandy Creek with the Big South Fork Cumberland River. So we're going to bushwhack through here along the river and once we reach Bandy Creek we're going to head upstream. Not sure exactly how far it is but uh, it's at least a mile to a mile and a half. It could be a little bit further. But we're just going to follow Bandy Creek upstream until we find the waterfall. These steps are part of the John Muir Trail. And you guys actually saw me and Caveman Outdoors hike this section of the John Muir Trail when we were here last year. But uh, we've actually got to go this way, so... Time for the adventure to begin. There's no trail here. This entire hike is going to be all bushwhacking through the woods. Probably going to get wet and dirty on this one, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Got this area here. Well guys, my best guess tells me that this is Bandy Creek and we're going to attempt to follow this creek upstream until we find Bandy Falls or Bandy Creek Falls. Bandy Creek Falls is a 45 foot waterfall. It's a combination single drop and cascade here on Bandy Creek. And I'm expecting some thick vegetation and steep terrain. So hopefully we'll make it to the falls. I really haven't done the pre-hike planning and preparation that I would normally do. Especially for an off-trail adventure like this. Usually requires a little more planning, but... Of course, here in East Tennessee, I'm well outside of my normal my normal area, so we're just going to wing it on this one. Anytime you are around water and rocks, you must exercise extreme caution because these rocks are very slick and you can fall and become seriously injured or even die. And I also want to stress the importance of letting someone know where you are. I'm up here by myself on this adventure. But there are people back at the Bandy Creek campground who know where, where I'm at. And if I'm not back or check in after a few hours, I hope they'll come looking for me. Wow, look at that, guys. That is cool. Definitely looks like something out of Jurassic Park or something. Alright guys. I'm doing what I didn't want to have to do, which is get away from the creek and go uphill a bit. And I'm in some very thick well, actually, this is not that thick rhododendron. 
little thicket of rhododendron here but no choice but to go through it because I couldn't make my way at creek level check out this awesome little cascade and pool there even if we don't make it to the falls I would say this hike has been a success so far it's really beautiful in here the farther upstream we go it gets more interesting but also even more difficult all right guys I've climbed even higher above the creek now than than I was before I had to climb over a boulder field there was no way to get by those big rocks the water was too deep to try to traverse it safely and climbing over the rocks was also not an option made it back down to creek level there's a large pool here and a nice cascade up ahead behind this awesome rock so I'm gonna try to maybe get over there and come up from this side and see what see what we have ahead well guys I actually went up around there and it's kind of a no-go it's gonna be a very difficult to approach from that side so you just have to be patient and adapt to your situation when you're on an adventure like this so I'm gonna backtrack I'm actually gonna have to go back up the hill a short distance and try to come down right over there and then I think I can get a good view of the cascade alright guys just to tell you how difficult this is it took me almost 20 minutes to get from right there to right here <laughs> very tough going getting through this spot the terrain up here is just very steep it's nearly vertical everything is very wet and of course you just have to move slow and go carefully we do have a nice view here of the cascade multi-tier cascade starts down here by this cool rock you can see it working its way up there this is not the kind of place you want to make a mistake so what I'm gonna do is once again I'm gonna <laughs> climb back up the side of this gorge and try to work my way upstream up there guys you just have no idea tree roots are definitely your friend on a climb like that that's nearly vertical that was tough getting up here still steep up here but a little more manageable than just above the creek down below I'm gonna try to make my way in this direction here I'll stay within earshot of the creek so we don't get sidetracked but I believe the creek will take a bend in this area and if I'm right about that it means we're getting close to Bandy Creek Falls so as I'm walking along I noticed what looked like an old roadbed so I climbed just a little further uphill and you can see this remains of an old road barely noticeable could be an old logging road or perhaps dating back to the Time when this would have been farms and homesteads I normally don't like hiking on roads but after what I just went through this is a welcome sight I can still hear the creek down in the gorge below and occasionally I get a view of some nice small cascades well guys my friendly road ended a while back and I am back in the jungle I've been trying to make my way through another thicket of rhododendron and a lot of people think of the tropical parts of the world when you mention the word jungle but if you've ever tried to navigate rhododendron you know what an American jungle looks like oh man this is cool neat rock formation here and 
temporary reprieve from the rhododendron. You can actually take a few steps unimpeded. All right. You guys just have no idea. It's very tough going up here. And very slow progress. Check out these awesome rocks, guys. And it's sort of a vein of rock that goes as far up the ridge as I can see. There's really no way around it. But I actually found a, a crack between two boulders and I was able to scramble down through there. You can see the creek down below. Alright guys. I'm not gonna lie. I nearly gave up several times but I knew I was too close to the falls to turn back and just through the trees there I can catch a glimpse of the top of a very tall cascade. I believe we've made it just a short distance through here and we'll be at Bandy Creek Falls. An incredible effort. Honestly one of the most difficult bushwhacking trips I've ever done but well worth it. This is a place that very few people ever see. And it's brought to you by Smelling Roses. Bandy Creek Falls, 45 foot drop. You can see we're in a very deep canyon here. Vertical sides all around. We're actually not that far upstream from the Cumberland River. I estimated it to be about a mile and a half. It could be a little farther. It's hard to judge because very slow, very slow moving coming up here. Well worth the effort. Spectacular scene. I'm not going to do any filming on the way out unless I see something really interesting. Uh, I'm just going to concentrate on finding my way back out of here safely. I, there are any number of hazards in this area and it's extremely dangerous in places like this. You must use extreme caution, take it slow, and always be sure someone knows where you're going and be sure to check in with them when you get back safely. I don't know if the video will do it justice, but this was an epic adventure. Quite exhausted from the hike up, but nothing to do now but to head back down. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all your views and support, and please be sure to leave me a comment down below. Thanks a lot, guys, and as always, I'll see you on the trail. You see, I've made it back down to the river made it safely out of the gorge it was just as tough coming down as it was going up I see the weather has improved a bit since I started this adventure and just a very short distance now along the river back to the bridge and the parking at Leatherwood Ford thanks again for coming along really appreciate all your support guys Thanks for watching.